Hi everyone, in this video, we will learn about topic 6 polynomial, subtopic 6.1, basic polynomial. In 6.1, we have two objective, but in this video, we will cover only one objective. In subtopic 6.1, students should be able to know how to do addition, subtraction, and multiplication of polynomial. Objective 1, addition, subtraction, and multiplication of polynomial. Polynomial can be combined using addition, subtraction, and multiplication. For operation addition and subtraction, we add or subtract the like term of two or more polynomial. Like term means the term has same variable. For example, x square will be operated with x square only and constant with constant. Multiplication Every term in one polynomial is multiplied by every term in the other. Example 1. Simplify 3x cubed minus 4x square minus 7 plus 4x square minus 2x plus 3. We can write in two lines like this. First polynomial and then second polynomial for the second line. We can line up according to its like term. And we can solve this polynomial by adding 3x cubed plus 0, we get 3x cubed, then negative 5x squared plus 4x squared, we get negative x squared, and then 0 plus negative 2x, we get negative 2x, and the last one, negative 7 plus 3, we get negative 4. Then this is the final answer. Example 2. Simplify x power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus x minus 4 minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 1. For easy calculation, we reverse the sign of second polynomial. So, positive x cubed will become negative 2x cubed. Negative 3x squared become positive 3x squared. Then, positive 6x become negative 6x. Positive 1 become negative 1. Then, we place the like term together. Meaning, for the term x cubed, we place together with x cubed. So, it's become like this. For x with x and constant with constant. After that, simplify the expression for the final answer. Here, we can add negative 5x cubed minus 2x cubed and it becomes negative 7x cubed plus 3x squared, negative 5x, then negative 5. Example 3. Given P equal to 3x cubed minus 2x plus 4 and Q equal to x squared minus 3. Find PQ. First, we write polynomial P and Q in multiply notation. In this form, we can expand the term one by one. First, multiply is between 3x cubed and x squared. Then, 3x cubed with negative x. Then negative 2x with x squared and negative 2x with negative 3. Then 4 times x squared, then 4 times negative 3. Then we have to simplify for each term by using index rule. So the first term here, 3x cubed times x square, we add the power of x. So the answer is 3x power of 5. 3x cubed times negative 3, we get negative x cubed. Then negative 2x times x square, negative 2x cubed. Then 
negative 2x times negative 3, we get positive 6x. And then 4 times x squared. And 4 times negative 3, we get negative 12. This is not the final answer because we have two terms that have x power of 3. So we have to simplify this term. And the final answer should be 3x power of 5 minus 11x power of 3 plus 4x power of 2 plus 6x minus 12. Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about topic 6 polynomial for long division. In this video, students should be able to perform division of polynomial by using long division and able to write the answer in this two form. In division of polynomial, we use long division method. Why? Because we want to make improper fraction to become proper fraction. So what is improper fraction? Improper fraction is the degree of Px is greater or equal than Qx. For example, x cubed plus 2x over x cubed minus 8. The highest power in numerator is 3 and the highest power in denominator is 3. So since the degree in Px and Qx is equal, so this is the improper fraction. Another example is x cubed plus 5x squared over x plus 3. The highest power in Px is greater than the highest power of qx. In school, we learn how to do division of integer. For example, 19 over 4. The first step is to rewrite this problem into long division form. 19 in the inside and 4 at the outside. The next step is to figure out the answer. How many 4 to make it 19 or almost 19? We put 4 in the answer spot, multiply by 4, and we get 16. Write it below the 19 so we can subtract it. 19 minus 16, we get 3. So the answer is 4 plus 3 over 4. If we want to divide polynomial, it's just the same concept. This is how it looks like. There is three important spots. That is, Px, the divider, dx, divisor, qx, the quotient, and the rx, remainder. After long division, write the answer the qx first plus remainder over divisor. Example 4. We want to divide this polynomial. The first thing we do is we write into long division where the numerator at the inside and denominator at the outside. We must remember four steps. The first step is divide. We divide x cubed with x. So we get x squared. The second step is multiply. We multiply x squared with x. We get x cubed and x squared times 3 we get 3x squared. The third step is we subtract. So the answer here, x cubed minus x cubed, we get 0. 2x squared minus 3x squared, we get negative x squared. The last step is we bring down. We bring down the rest of the term. Then, 
we repeat the process. Divide negative x square divided by x. We get negative x. Then we multiply. So negative x times x, we get negative x square, and negative x times 3, we get negative 3x. Then we subtract. Here the answer is negative x square minus minus x square, we get 0, negative x minus negative 3x, we get positive 2x. Then we bring down. Must repeat the process since the degree of the remainder is equal with the divisor. So the step divide 2x divide by x we get 2 then we multiply 2 times x we get 2x and 2 times 3 we get 6 then we subtract so the answer here we get negative 5 negative 5 is the remainder how to write the answer after we use long division if we have remainder so we must write into this form px over dx is the question equal to quotient so the quotient is x square minus x plus 2 and plus r over d so the remainder is negative 5 so negative with positive we get negative so negative 5 over x plus 3.